slow up now. <laughs> Okay, fella. Yep. Without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. I began to tell the decent roar. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. was as red as a lobster. There should be some real good eating. and broke my poor knob, sir. I watched you was picked from my father. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hydrogen. Okay, leave it with me. Hey, Uncle. Morning to you. I think you're getting a bit too attached to that badge now. There she is. Good morning, Arthur. So, still glad you fell in with this bunch? I think so, most of the time. Thanks. I asked Bill to do that, but of course he didn't. Don't know if you saw, but I left that oh, yeah. for you by your tent. Thanks, Jose. You okay? Hey. Keep working hard like you have been. Of course. You'll go a long way. Okay. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. 
Okay. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. See you later. <laughs> Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse, and let's go. Come on, pal. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Any bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm. I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast. You could break the line. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now, see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear, 
I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? A feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, there's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Well, come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get... Guess we'll see. You won't catch much if you don't cast the line. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. Putting up one hell of a fight. Not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water.
See? Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. I bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. You okay? Thanks again for coming fishing with me. We should do that again sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, Arthur, C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. 
Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all in five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> yeah. I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. <sighs> Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah!
Get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Now shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, I, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Bubs! Place is empty! Shit! You got another surefire plan for us, Uncle? 
you going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Uh. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. We should go give him a hand. Deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, study. leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. 